Welcome to Tom's Aviation. Come over here and watch this video. Good morning, Oshkosh. I'm Al Waterloo with Cirrus Aircraft, one of our Cirrus Aircraft Vision Jet sales directors. I live in California now. I just moved out from Chicago. And this is the coolest Cirrus ever. This is so innovative. It's the first all black painted Cirrus aircraft, which is surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, because it looks so good, the most uh, often asked color combination. And it's really exciting that we're able to make this an all black airplane just because of how the Vision Jet is built. It's literally three pieces of carbon fiber composite put together and it is able to withstand different heats and that allows us to be able to do really cool things with the Vision Jet and make it absolutely beautiful. These things are a lot of fun. I got to fly this in from, uh, from California. So it was a really awesome trip. Flew from uh, Orange County, California, stopped in Pueblo, Colorado, and then flew here to Oshkosh and got to do the Warbird arrival in this pretty amazing so it was a great trip flew it by myself 31,000 feet it took about five and a half hours of flight time to get here from Oshkosh and I've got the distinct pleasure of covering the west coast while my colleague Mike Matthews gets to cover the east coast for the vision jet and he's going to talk about some of his favorite things on the vision jet that make it absolutely incredible uh, good morning, Oshkosh. This is my colleague Al mentioned. I'm Mike Matthews, Regional Sales Director for the Vision Jet. We're going to walk inside the Stellar uh, Vision Jet and take a look inside and see how the comfort level is for all of our passengers. Come on. All right, Oshkosh. We're sitting inside of the uh, the, the G2 Plus uh, Vision Jet cockpit. We have the G3000 cockpit, the GTX touch controllers. This airplane was built so that every passenger, every passenger, every occupant of this airplane has an experience, from the pilot to the co-pilot to the five people behind them. So as you can see, a lot of the features in this airplane are just like our SR series aircraft. We do that on purpose, right? We want, the, we want our pilots to be able to go back and forth from each product seamlessly, right? Confident. And when we train, we train with a purpose, with a lifestyle. So all of our environmentals are almost the same as you would see in a ESR. Only difference is here, we have a turbine engine. We have a big trim wheel, right? We have a big trim wheel for the rudder vader that's behind us. And that way we can dial it in and make sure we are precise in what we do. The biggest uh, transition piece from the SR to the SF is going to be the gear, right? So gear up when we're taking off and we make sure the gear comes down when we land. Circuit breakers on each side, right? I have one for the pilot and co-pilot. And of course we have our side side joke for controlling the airplane. Flaps look the same, almost the same. We have an automatic fuel controller, something that is uh, pretty darn cool. We have auto throttles. So through our auto throttles we can control the speeds either through our FMS which means through our flight plan or we can manually control it through what we want to do in flight we set our altitude we still have heading the autopilot looks the same as in our SR again the only difference is going to be these GTX touch controllers the beautiful thing about this this is a Garmin cockpit so if you know a Garmin product you're a Garmin pilot you can get in and out of this airplane very easily it's just buttonology something that is very familiar to Cirrus pilots, we have the parachute handle, right? 40 pounds of pressure, and instead of coming out of the tail like it does in the SR, it comes out of the nose of this airplane, all right? This is our, we call this area the surfboard. It starts here with our emergency equipment and it runs all the way back to the, to the rear of the, the cabin. This new feature by Garmin, the Safe Return Auto Land, it's a feature that is it was standard, if you will, in most Garmin, uh, we'll call it uh, auto throttle aircraft. You'll see it on the, the TBM aircraft, you'll see it on the uh, M600 aircraft, and a standard feature on the Cirrus Vision Jet. So, just like I said before, every station in this aircraft has an experience. I'm sitting right now in the left seat, just by the door, right behind the, uh, the pilot. You can tell that 
I have plenty of room and space. I move the seat ups to a position where I would fly if I was a pilot, and I can just relax, right? It is a, it feels like a commander's chair. These are complete seats, very, very comfortable. What I would like to do if I'm flying, if I'm a passenger, I sit back, watch TV. Uh, I can play a video, my, you know, play video games with my kids. I can work on a business presentation. I can watch Netflix. All of that is through our entertainment center right there where we plug in through HDMI. And you can get a dongle that goes into any type of Apple product or even a droid. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Good times. Good times had by all. And, we have, uh, multiple and up here, uh, we have, uh, we can control the temperatures in the back of the cabin. Typically the pilot, co-pilot up front controls it for the entire, uh, we'll call it entire flight for the entire cabin, but if we wanted to, we can control our own air back here to make it more comfortable. All of your, in an emergency situation, the uh, supplemental oxygen comes down for all occupants, and it'll just deploy from here, and you can put that on in case we have a depressurization situation. All right, as you can see here, this is the upgraded Arive um, interior. It is Alcantara everywhere, and we have carbon fiber, beautiful uh, accents all over the all over the cockpit. It is the highly uh, selected choice for most Vision Jet owners. They're either doing a customization package or the Arive. It does come in base, you know, base uh, colors where you can get the choice of three or four different leather colors. But this is, as you can see, a beautiful aircraft. It's quieter, it's luxurious, everyone loves it. So, a little bit different than the, uh, the piston, the SR series aircraft, we have a fuel controller that actually will automatically meter your fuel into the engine. Right now it's set in the auto position and that's where we are during flight, if need be. If we find that we need to go, the right tank is bit, uh, more than the left tank, you can actually manually switch it to right to left, but the middle auto is where we want to be. Does it cycle like every two minutes left and right? So it's going to cycle every two gallons oh, okay. oh, really? to each oh, okay. tank. So every two gallons it's going to sense and go uh, right to left. Um, sometimes if you're climbing, you know, uh, you have a higher power setting and it's pulling power or pulling fuel quicker, you may have an imbalance. Or if you just, you know, you're, you make a fuel stop and you add for, you ask for 50 gallons a side, you may not be even, it could be, it could be, uh, you know, not even. So um, we manage that. Uh, we have visuals on that and we manage that in flight and we take care of it. Well, that was an excellent interior tour by Mike. He's taught me how to really appreciate and understand how this airplane has been put together. And there's a lot of Cirrus instinct that translates from the exterior, just like in the, uh, in the SR. So you as a Cirrus pilot, moving in from one of our SR models all the way into a vision jet is super simple. There's a handful of different things in the outside of the airplane that really enable that. One, it's the wing. This wing is designed very similarly put together, just like the SR. On the SR, you would normally have a big break in the middle, and there'd be a, carp, uh, a, a, a physical break. We still have that in this wing, but the wing is actually twisted. So the outer portion of the wing takes care of the aerodynamics, the low speed aerodynamics. The inner portion of the wing takes care of all the high speed aerodynamics. So what that really means is that when you're coming into land in a vision jet, you're coming into land touching down at 85 knots, just like you are in the SR. But when you're up at altitude at 31,000 feet, the inner portion of the wing really takes over and you're doing 310 knots at that point. Super cool. My other favorite part that makes this airplane really easy to fly is this engine. The jet engine uh, made by Williams, it's an FJ33, puts out just over 1,800 pounds of thrust and the thing that really makes this airplane super easy to fly is that that engine has, is fully controlled by an engine computer. We call it a FADA. 
uh, fully uh, uh, automated digital engine control. And that is fantastic. The engine, there's no more hot starts. It's literally a push button to start and turn on and turn off the engine and the computer has the rest. If there's any abnormalities, the computer's gonna fix it and protect the engine. So you can just literally push the throttle forward really fast. There's no coughing of the engine because the computer will automatically spool up or spool down the engine and whatever you command based on the power lever position. The boots on this airplane are really cool. A lot of questions around these sitting at Oshkosh all week and getting having bringing a lot of excitement to it is that this system is simple. It's designed to it's designed to take it down to a one decision point. So what I mean by that is that let's say you're flying around at 10,000 feet, you're getting vectored for an instrument approach somewhere in the winter and it's cloudy and it's there's icing. All you have to do is look out the window, see how big the window is on the exterior, look on, on the wing and you answer one question. Am I picking up ice, yes or no? If the answer is yes, you turn the system on and let it run until you get out of the ice and icing is, is uh, clear of the airframe. So it is simple. If you're either, you're picking up ice or you're not, you turn the system on or off and it's fantastic. The last thing that really makes this airplane look and make you feel like a complete stud is the landing gear. The landing gear is fantastic. It is a trailing link system. This is all like, uh, we now have that Top Gun 2 Maverick out, like fighter jets, F-18s, really amazing. This is modeled off of that. And not only do trailing link landing gears make you, make, make you feel like you had a great landing every time, nice and smooth touchdowns, but they make the landing a lot safer. And what happens with the trailing link landing gear is that when you touch down, the struts compress and it holds on to the energy so you don't have any of this bounce back so it makes it a lot safer and easier to land and absorbs the energy and holds on to it so that way you can cushion the airplane down so what that really ultimately does is 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 minimizes any sort of bouncing or porpoising or anything like that that you might come into but being a type rated pilot flying around in a vision jet you're going to be training regularly every year you're going to have a type rating and uh, take your training very seriously. So hopefully, you know, we're not even gonna run into any of those issues. And that way you could just look like a complete rock star while you're flying the vision jet. I'm so glad that you were here at uh, Oshkosh this year. It is fantastic seeing you guys. And Tom's Aviation uh, YouTube channel is one of my personal favorites. So definitely check that out. To learn more about the vision jet or any of our products, not only is it just vision jets and SRs, Cirrus now is well versed into upgrades and training and things like that. We have a great social media page. You can follow us at Cirrus Aircraft on Instagram or YouTube or CirrusAircraft.com. And uh, if you want to follow me flying around on the West Coast, you can follow me on my personal Instagram at L.Waterloo. Same thing on YouTube. We've got a lot of cool videos flying around the Vision Jet out West and it's fantastic. So thanks for being here. Happy Oshkosh and we'll see you soon.
So I want to see if I can get the. All right, ready? One, two, and three. Please like, share, comment on our channel and subscribe here.